Hello, welcome. In this video, I will be unboxing a Kiwi ukulele. This was sent to me as a gift from a subscriber. They asked for me not to say who it was, so I will respect that, but you will probably see them in the comments below. If you would like to see more unboxing and first impression videos, give this one a thumbs up. Okay, the box looks actually really small. It's tiny, how cute. Okay, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my God, it's so cute. What is this? It came with something else too. Do all of them come with this? Okay, wait, okay, I'm getting distracted. Let's get up to the ukulele. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I had to look at the viewfinder because it just looks so cute. <laughs> How exciting. I'm gonna tear up. Ah, okay. Okay, relax. <gasps> this is so cute. Okay, I'm not crying, I'm not crying. Oh my God. Okay, I just tuned the ukulele. Some tension. I'm going to play a few bar chords just to stretch it and then I will tune again. So whenever I get a new ukulele and the strings are not like holding tune right away, I just do this. It's basically like a bar chord and I just kind of go down the neck and I this stretches the strings and then I'll tune and then stretch and tune and stretch. I'll do that about four or five times and that usually will accelerate the process. Another thing that you can do on this ukulele, for example, the C and the E and A are actually in tune, but this string right here, string G, is not holding tune yet. So what I'll do is I'll tune it half a step higher than it should be, so I'll tune it to a G sharp. And then I'll add some tension to that string by pressing down on it. I'm not pressing down like crazy hard, so don't, don't go crazy with this. I'm just kind of like stretching it, because that's the only one that I really need to tune now and then I'll do it again until it holds tune okay so now let's look at the ukulele let's analyze it and see if we like what we see so first this is a pineapple shaped so it's a kiwi but the shape of the ukulele like this shape is called pineapple shape this is a soprano size but pineapple shape um, the frets are not sharp which is a good sign we have the fret marker for 5, 7 and 10 we don't have fret markers on the side. That to me isn't a big deal because I know that I can take like that white out, like the paper mate, and just dab the sides if I really needed it. We have exposed gauge tuners. I love gauge tuners, that's so really good. The fretboard looks a little bit dry, so it might need a little bit of tender love and care, but the fact that these fret bars, um, what are these called? They're not popping out, so that tells me that it's not that dry to where these are popping out or sharp, so that's a good sign. The package came with this. How funny is that? Let me see. Oh! It came with all of these picks and they just fell out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight, seven or eight picks in there. Aww. If there's anything I can help with, don't hesitate to tell me best regards. That is so sweet. The package also came with extra strings, which is fantastic. And usually on a ukulele, the string that pops is string A, but it's nice to have all of them, right? So for those of you who've been following me since 500 subscribers, you know that I love little baggies. Like I just carry lots of little baggies in my purse, so I love that I have a new one. Okay, now I have my measuring tape. We are going to measure this ukulele. So let's see. From the tip of the head all the way down the body, we are about 52, 53 centimeters. The fingerboard alone is at about 20 centimeters. The ukulele is about 16 or 17 centimeters right around the sound hole. Yeah, I think that would be about the widest part, about 17 centimeters. Okay, so now I'm going to do a playing demonstration for you on the ukulele, that way you can hear what it sounds like. I'm going to 
play with this ukulele for the next two or three weeks. I'm gonna try and play it daily. I will also be tuning it daily until it holds. If you would like to see a review video, please give this one a thumbs up and I will know that you guys want to see a follow up on this. In the comments below, let me know what you think of a different type of looking ukulele. Like they make a penguin one, a watermelon one, and something else. I can't remember what I saw. Would you play a ukulele that was different like this? As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sending me this. And I hope to see you in the next video. Sayonara!